grow capsicum plant very easily into the DWC system of the hydroponic. To grow capsicum into DWC hydroponic system, what type of preparation you should do and what is the care you should take that is very critical for growing your plant successfully. So I am going to explain all these things into this video. Hello friends, welcome again to my channel Organic and Hydroponic Urban Grow Pro. Friends, today in this video, I am going to talk about starting a capsicum plant into your DWC hydroponic system. For starting capsicum, you require the good seeds. Once you get the good seed, you need to make the nursery. Nursery you can make either into the protray like this or you can grow it into the cocoa pit bed also. You must not grow it into the soil because when you grow the nursery into soil, the contamination from the soil may get into the hydroponic system and damage your crop. So it is better to grow capsicum nursery into pure cocoa peat. Now you can see that this nursery we have done around 24 days back and you can see the growth of the plant. This plant has developed the two cotyledons, two true leaves and another two leaves are coming. That means this plant is at the three to four leaf stage. Now this is a good time to transfer them into the system. Now for transferring them into the DWC system, we require a net cups. So we are going to use net cup like this. So these are the net cup we are going to use. These are two inch in size and it has a hole into the bottom. So the whenever its tap root goes down, it will have a space to go down. So this type of net cup we are going to use. We are also going to use some media. So here we are going to use hydrotron or the clay balls. These clay balls are around 2 to 8 millimeter size. So the small in size, it is better to have a good support of the plant. You can also transplant them with the help of cocoa pit. So you can put the plant and put all around the cocoa pit and press it lightly. That also will set your plant. But we are using this uh, clay balls because when the plant grows, it will move and give the space to the stem very easily. Now the transplantation process, so it is very simple, we need to water our nursery day before or into the morning. Then in the evening time, you can lightly tap it and remove it. Giving water is very important, that will ensure that your root ball will remain intact. On removing the plant from the hole, the root ball will not break if the water is good. So once we tap the tray lightly from all the sides and gently pull the plant in a vertical direction and you can see the whole plant with the root ball has come out. Now you can see the very healthy growth of the root over here. So this is a very good plant developed in the nursery. Now we simply need to put this plant into the position and feel all around with these clay balls. So we have filled this around with the clay balls and now we are going to tap lightly so that clay ball will take the place in the, all the cavities and hold the plant firmly. So this completes our sowing into the net pot. You can see the plant is now well erect. Now we are going to collect all these plants after sowing into the tray and keep the water level around half to one centimeter into this tray. This is because the bottom of the glass must touch the water and the cocoa peat at the bottom will start drinking water from the bottom and it will help a plant to establish well. So we will keep this like this after planting for a day or a 6-8 hours. So the plant will settle well. Once the plant will settle, then we can transfer it to the DWC bucket. So let us first complete the sowing and then we are going to transfer. Before transferring, we must prepare the buckets and add all the nutrient into that bucket. So let us see how we are preparing the bucket and adding the nutrients. So now we are going to talk about transplanting our plant into the DWC bucket and before that we are going to know about what are the preparation or care we should do for making this bucket ready for the sowing. Now first thing we need to fill the water. Now water we must fill to the level so that our net cup just touching the water. We have done this activity, I am just showing you. So once we pour this. And you can see that it is wet up to this stage. So around 5 to 7 millimeter water is touching at the bottom of the glass. And this is a good setting 
for the water. So this ensures our plant will always getting the water from the bottom and they will grow into this. Now once the water is level is set, then we need to add the nutrition. Now adding nutrition is very simple. You can calculate your formula or take the ready formula from the market A and B and add into it. If you want to make your own formula, then I am going to give you some PPM level from which you can calculate your own formula for adding into the uh, DWC bucket for growing the capsicum. So here we have kept nitrogen level around 110 ppm, phosphorus level we have maintained around 30-35 and potas level is about 140. We have kept this level very low for the initial time. These are all the macronutrients. Now the secondary nutrient, micronutrient are calcium and magnesium. So calcium we are going to keep it 70 to 80 ppm and magnesium we are going to keep it 29 to 30 ppm. So this is about the all the macronutrient. You must maintain the lower ppm initially for the establishment of the plant well. Otherwise if you manage higher ppm level then your plant may feel the tip burn and die. So after adding this we have added some micronutrient also. Micronutrient you can add 1 to 2 gram per liter of the water and that is good enough for the solution. So once you fill all the nutrient into this bucket then you must measure your ppm and ph level. Now ph we want around 6. 6 around ph is very good. You can keep it 5.8 to 6.2. So here we are measuring with the ph meter. We need to wait for a couple of seconds before measuring it. Now it is showing 6.2. So this is on the upper side of the pH limit but that is okay. This is good pH to start with. So here the pH is 6.2 we have already set. If your pH is not set you can adjust with the acid or the base and adjust the pH. Similarly we are going to measure the TDS. We need to keep the TDS between 400 and 500 for the starting. So here it is showing somewhere around 441. So it is slightly below 450. Uh, we need to keep it around 500 to 500 and that is also within the good range. Now if your TDS is low, you can simply add some more nutrient and take your TDS level to the required. And if your TDS is high, then you can remove some of the water you can add it later on and add some plain water so your TDS is going to come down to the required limit. This is very much necessary step for the starting of the chili. Now once the everything is set you are ready to transplant. So for transplanting it is very simple. We have transplanted this plant with the help of clay balls. We simply need to put this plant into these holes because the water we have already managed. So this plant will start taking water from the bottom and start establishing. We are just rechecking that this is a touching to the bottom. So this is the completion of our transportation process. So friends, with this simple way, you can grow or start your chili plant or the capsicum plant into the DW system and have a good harvest of the chili on your home garden. So friends, how do you like my process of sowing the capsicum into our DWC system? Please write me back into the comment box. And if you are also interested in growing hydroponic vegetables, then you can start with some of the buckets or some vessel and grow many vegetables with this way and have a good harvest and the season for the your consumption and enjoy it fresh. Happy growing.